Hi everyone, this video explains topics that we are going to cover on day 7 of Oracle Fusion Middleware Administration Training. In previous 6 videos, we covered day 1 to day 6 topics. On day 7, we'll cover OBIEE, which stands for Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. So we'll start with OBIEE Overview and Architecture. The two important components within OBIEE, which is RPD and Catalog. So we'll look at what all tools are available to manage your OBIEE, RPD and Catalog. Then you are going to do installation of Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. We'll also do start and stop of OBIEE, both from graphical user interface, which is Enterprise Manager Console, as well as from command line. Then we'll check high availability of OBIEE. The steps to configure OBIEE in high availability is slightly different from SOA suite. So we'll look at how can you can deploy Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition in active active cluster. OBIE comes with default RPD and catalog. As a part of OBIE lifecycle, you get updated RPD file from developers that you deploy on OBIEE environment. So we are going to do a hands-on on how to deploy an RPD. So you will get a sample RPD file, replace your default RPD file with this sample RPD file as part of lab exercises. And finally, we are going to deploy catalog we're going to look at the default catalog and replace it by a custom catalog uh, using the OBIE management tools. So just to recap what we are going to cover, day seven is going to be on Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. We'll have a look at architecture and overview of OBIEE, then management tools available to manage OBIEE, then we'll install OBIEE using a step-by-step -step instructions on our servers remotely. Then we'll start and stop OBIEE. We'll look at high availability or active-active cluster deployment of OBIEE. Then we'll deploy RPD and catalog on OBIEE on day 7. Thank you.